What's going on everybody? Welcome back to today's episode. Today we got an interesting one for you. So as you probably know by the title of this video, I bought some trail cameras from Amazon for $40 each. Now, in the grand scope of things, $40 is not all that much for a trail camera. Like, I you know, there's like the new cellular, deal, cellular deals that are like a couple hundred, you know, I'll, I'll put some up here that are just, you know, they're, it's a little uncomfortable to spend that much on cameras. If you're just an average hunter like me, I don't know about you guys. But anyway, so here she is. It's very small, actually. Like, comparative to a normal, normal trail camera, it's really small. Like, normally it would be bigger. But mini trail camera, it's by Woe Sports. You can tell by the title that it's pretty cheap and made in China. Oh, yeah, I can even see some Chinese lettering in there. Ah, oh, you guys can't really see it, but anyway, so I'm just going to basically break down how it works. And I'm actually, I've been setting it out in my backyard the last two nights, just because I knew I was going to do this video. I wanted to see if there were any deer that walked by, and <laughs> you'll be surprised. I, I'm going to get to the pictures later, but there's some big deer in my backyard. All right, so anyways, let's jump right into it. Alright, so when you open it up, it, it looks pretty normal, pretty simple. Just a place for four AA batteries, and then there's an, can you see that? There's an on, a setup, and an off switch. And then these are just your controls over here. So, pretty simple setup to start. Let's see what happens when you turn it on to setup. Okay, I, I already set the time, because I put it out, but it starts out with the time. And then, so pretty intuitive so far. Time's intuitive, I guess. And then, okay, okay, so we're going to reset the time. And then the date, okay, doing good so far. And you see it's flashing there, and you would just use these little up and down arrows. So, simple setup so far. Uh, okay, year, 2020, first year. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm not really sure what that is. The camera's flashing. don't know what that means, but... And then... What else? Oh, we got the delay delay time, so it's on 15 seconds per picture now. That just keeps you from, like, getting this picture of the sand squirrel that's running up and down a tree a bunch, you know. And... I don't know, I have to read the instruction manual. When I read the instruction manual when they set it up, it was really intuitive and pretty simple. To, so, oh, trigger sensitivity be high or low. So, that's it, you know, your, gen your general stuff with the trail camera, I mean, time, date, um, you can't, like, name the camera or anything so you know where it is, but I would hope you know where it is, you can put that on a card and stuff. Oh, yeah, and the card is kind of in a tricky place to get to. It, um, it's kind of right there. It's okay for putting it in, but getting it out, it's a little, it's a little slippery, but that's all fine. And then... Yeah, so that's the Woe Sports Mini Camera. And it actually, it came in a pack of two. So it was actually like $80, but to add that, like, it would be 40 And then, it come from as far as mounting goes, you've got these little holes for straps, and it comes with these straps, which are actually kind of nice. They have these straps, and they got these little, little buckle, buckle majigs. And um, it's a little confusing to figure out at first, but then you can go through and then thread it through and you can tighten it or loosen it depending on how big your tree is and then there's this little it looks like a tripod port and there's these mounts that came with the camera here i'll go get them i should have been more prepared okay. okay and then the next tech is text so the next test is obviously how good of pictures does it take? Because you know, because you know, it could be like you just, there's a deer walks by and it's just totally horrible pictures. So let's go test that right now. As you see, the picture of me was kind of eh quality. I mean, the one downside I will say is the date and time in the bottom corner are very, very tiny. So that's a downside. You kind of have to use your binoculars now to see that. And then when the deer were there, 
like those pictures of the bucks. I said I put it right, put it right there. I, it, it was a big buck, and the, one of them was pretty close. But it's in fair quality. Yeah. The best you can, they can be expected for forty dollars. Yeah. And anyway, so those bucks that were over there, the pictures of the bucks. I say it's fair quality. Again, the the date and time are very tiny and hard to read but it's it's not terrible for 40 hours i will say now i'm not quite sure about the trigger distance because i mean my backyard i was I literally i set it up in my backyard and the deer were standing out there by the neighbor's house so fi yeah 15 yards is not the best judge for trigger distance i and i'd imagine it's fair for trail, a 40 hour trail camera so overall, what I suggested, I'd say if you're just like getting into scouting, you know, and kind of want to get some pictures of deer, definitely suggest it. If you don't like, like know what trail cams are that much, like I'm not a big trail camera guy. I think I have two set out and one doesn't really work. So if you just kind of like want to know what's in your area. Now, if you want to know like how many points and kickers a buck has, I, I can't say this camera will do that for you. but. I'd say it's a great option for anything, you know, just surveillance or even if you want to like put it up in your backyard or like watch something else besides deer, it would be a great option, I think. So I'd give this a 3.76 stars out of five, I think, because, you know, picture quality is okay, but for $40, it's, it's to be expected, I mean, and I mean, it's a camera that takes pictures, so can't really ask for a whole lot more than that uh so anyways i hope you guys really enjoyed and appreciated this episode i hope this gave you some insight on trail cameras from amazon and i will say big hunt tomorrow guys there's big things going down tomorrow tomorrow i'm going out with the adelato as you know you've seen me in some past videos but it's it's the rut guys the, those two bucks there were two different big bucks in the suburbs in my backyard last night following does around and my parents have seen them around the neighborhood and I've seen them around the neighborhood and the bucks are out. And this week on YouTube, you know, I've seen a bunch of like, you know, bucks being called into decoys. So I have a really good feeling about tomorrow, guys. Sit in a good stand, a good creek bottom stand. It should be good. Anyway, so stay tuned for that episode. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you really enjoy it. Uh, please subscribe and like. That really helps me out a lot, you know, and just growing on my channel and trying to get off the ground. And yeah. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.